All right, this video we're going to cover some steps in a blog we have for installing the Dymo 4XL. The link for the blog will be in the description. The first thing you do is go to the Dymo website, type in Dymo Excel, click on the Dymo printer. We'll have the link, give you a little shortcut in the description for that as well. You'll go load the website, scroll to the bottom. My software is not the Catalina, but it seems to work just fine. If you have anything newer than Catalina, go ahead and use Catalina. Once that downloads, you can go to your downloads folder and give it a double click. And then you can double click on the package to get the download started. You'll have to click allow and then continue and just follow the unscreen instructions whenever asked for permission or anything. Have to keep an eye on in case it pauses. Once you have the prompt to enter your password, do so. Got an extension blocked, and you'll have to go to your security. And then, for me, I'm just gonna ignore this and let the install finish. If you want to go ahead and do that, you'll just have to click the lock, log in, and then click the allow down at the bottom right. Right now, it's grayed out, but once you do that, it will not be. All right, installation was successful. You can close and move the install package to the trash. And if the software doesn't open up, we automatically go ahead and find the apps, open it up. And it wants to use your contacts. I said no, and then your documents. I did allow that. That way when you create custom labels, you can save them. And at this point, if you don't have the printer plugged in, go ahead and do so. And it's asking if you want to set up a network printer. I said no to this because we're going to have it directly plugged into the computer. Once you have it plugged in, you have a few more questions. I recommend registering. I've already registered this printer, so I said no. And then click finish. And you can see your printer set up and installed in this new software. And you'll find it in other programs as well. If you have any questions on the Dymo Connect software, we have another video for that. I actually have several videos for the Dymo Connect software as well as the Dymo 4XL. I have a playlist queued up at the end of this video. If this helped you, please let us know. If you have any questions, definitely let us know. I will comment, like, or subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.